BAE is producing the Marine Corps' amphibious combat vehicle. Marine Corps Times reporter Irene Lowenson spoke with a company representative to learn more about the variants and its production. Garrett, thank you for joining us. Can you, uh, can you tell us a little bit about what BAE's ACVs are useful for in general? Yeah, so we're excited to have you here in BAE Systems booth uh, at Modern Day Marine. Uh, we're showcasing the two newest members of the ACV family of vehicles, our ACV 30 millimeter, as well as our ACV C4 UAS uh, technical demonstrator. Uh, both platforms are intended to provide the Marine Corps with a technology for uh, expeditionary warfare uh, that will provide the Marines not just with what they need for the fight today, but the fight for the future. So our ACV-30, uh, as you can see, has a 30 millimeter weapon station on it from Kongsberg Defense. We are actually building the first three production representative test vehicles being built today in York, Pennsylvania, and those will be delivered to the Marine Corps in January of uh, 2024. The ACV C4 UAS is all about being able to demonstrate some of the latest and greatest reconnaissance and counter reconnaissance technologies. So basically we're trying to show that anything the Marine Corps needs or can come up with, we'll be able to successfully integrate and test for them on the ACV base vehicle. So what's the scenario in which Marines would use these two variants? Can you paint a picture of when the 30 millimeter variant would be most useful as well as the C4 UAS variant? Yeah, so the ACV-30 is all about being able to support uh, infantry. And so the Marine Corps will utilize this platform uh, for that specifically. The C4 UAS tech demonstrator, we're really utilizing that to showcase those uh, reconnaissance and counter reconnaissance technologies and really to be the quarterback of the battlefield. So being able to control multiple sensors and effectors as well as any uh, unmanned air vehicles or unmanned, unmanned ground vehicles that the Marine Corps would have access to. So I understand that this quarterback variant recently had um, a successful demonstration in which it showed its ability to pair with an unmanned system. Can you talk about what happened there? Yeah, so we were able to successfully uh, control a uh, unmanned ground vehicle utilizing this ACV C4 UAS as the command and control platform while the, uh, the unmanned ground vehicle was actually out maneuvering and, and doing reconnaissance in advance of the C4 UAS. And how do these variants, and in particular I want to highlight the C4 UAS variant, how do these variants play into the Marine Corps modernization initiative called Force Design 2030? So overall, the ACV family of vehicles allows the Marine Corps to get their amphibious combat mission needs accomplished. Uh, we're firm believers that anything the Marine Corps can come up with as far as technology, the, the outstanding base platform that the ACV provides across mobility, amphibiosity, and survivability uh, makes it a great platform to be able to expand that family of vehicles and provide the Marine Corps uh, the differentiating capability that they need. How many ACVs have been fielded so far to the Marine Corps? So BA Systems has delivered over 200 ACVs so far, all in the personnel variant configuration, uh, and we are continuing to deliver uh, seven to eight ACVs per month. What's the personnel variant? So the personnel variant was the very first ACV that was designed. It holds 13 Embark Marines and is crewed by three, a driver, a vehicle commander, and a gunner. And what's the point of that? So that is all about troop transport, being able to transport Marines from ship to shore and then to objective effectively and be able to do so in a highly survivable, highly mobile and amphibious environment. And are these other variants also able to do that, but with additional capabilities? Yes, so that base ACV uh, platform is what allows it to be highly mobile, successful in the water, and also survivable. We then just take whatever mission package the Marine Corps needs, put it on top of that great base platform, and allow them to be able to accomplish their mission. Can you give me a status update on where the various variants are in terms of production and um, yeah, when they're going to be delivered to the Marine Corps? So the ACV uh, personnel variant is in active production right now. We've delivered roughly 200 vehicles to the Marine Corps. The command and control variant, which is the second in the family, is actually being built right now and will be delivered uh, over the next several months. 
The third one, which is what we're focused on today, the ACV30, is being those first three production representative test vehicles will be delivered in January of 24, go into test and then also into fielding. And then finally, the ACV recovery is being designed and developed actively uh, right now with the Marine Corps for future production. And what's the purpose of the recovery variant? Yeah, so the recovery variant is intended to be able to do higher level maintenance out in the field. So it will have a, a crane that's capable of moving parts uh, and also then a winch that will allow it to self-recover but also recover any platforms uh, on the battlefield. Which could be helpful if we're thinking about um, more distributed operations in conditions where logistics are contested, as General Berger has discussed, is, is probable. The Marine Corps is always looking for opportunities to move uh, maintenance as far forward as possible, and I can imagine that the uh, ACV recovery will allow that. What, what comes next for the amphibious combat vehicles? What, if you're looking you know, two years out, what do you expect? So I think we will continue to expand the family of vehicles into additional mission roles. Uh, as I said, this is a great base platform offering the Marine Corps all of the amphibiosity they need, the ground mobility they need, and the survivability they need. It's all about figuring out what mission packages the Marine Corps wants to put on it, and then also starting to uh, showcase this capability to uh, NATO partners and other allies around the world to give them the opportunity to, to have this outstanding capability in the ACV. Can you give me an idea of what future variants you're considering at this point? I think right now we are very focused on being able to showcase all of these uh, reconnaissance and counter reconnaissance technologies, uh, and then we'll see where it goes in the future. Thank you very much, Garrett. The amphibious combat vehicle has had some challenges in the last year with numerous rollovers during training in which no injuries were reported. The Marine Corps has now pulled the ACV from most training operations on the open ocean um, and has attributed the problems mainly to operators not being quite up to speed on the differences between the ACV and its predecessor, the tracked amphibious assault vehicle. The Marine Corps has also identified some mechanical issues with the amphibious combat vehicle notably in the shocks and in the central tire inflation system. At an update Tuesday, the Marine Corps' program manager for the ACV said that BAE Systems is working to resolve those issues. For Marine Corps Times, I'm Irene Lowenson.